In this video, I want to show you what a not so great lane change looks like. And we're facing the back of the car here. And in a moment's time, a vehicle is going to show up and it's going to fit itself in the middle of this vehicle following distance or space cushion from us. So we're coming up here and this vehicle, notice, <laughs> makes me laugh. I don't know where people's mind is, is at when, when they decide to do something like this. I thought I would have a little bit more time to talk about it, but here they come, right? They're just showing up. They showed up and then they're like, here I come into your lane. Let's go back a bit. So I get that sometimes, you know, we're in congestion and we need to do a lane change and we don't always have the amount of room that we would like to have, but that's a whole different thing than not giving people time to even realize that this is what your intention is. So let's just assess what this vehicle does. So he, they pull up here and, and I'll, I'll give it to them that they kind of came up a bit further away from this car before they did this maneuver, but that's literally the only thing they did right on this maneuver. Now look at how close they are to us. So they've made no, they've left no room in case we have something that we have to slow down for. And so if we suddenly, well, we shouldn't suddenly break, but if we, something happens in front where we have to slow down, being less than a foot away from the car in front of you, trying to do a lane change is not a good thing to do so but the main thing that that bothers me about this lane change is when did they signal before they started moving over so they were driving here and with these newer cars you can see the the led daytime running lights and the moment that someone puts their indicator on the daytime running lights turn off to kind of make that blinking light a little bit more visible to other drivers. So let's notice when that daytime running light went off. So the daytime running light is on and it just went off. So, and we're at seven seconds into the video and notice from the second they signal how long it took before they're into this person's lane. So now nine seconds in, so literally two seconds later, they're in the lane. So you have to ask yourself, just because I put a signal on, doesn't mean A, the person be beside me has seen that signal, right? So you need to give them a couple of seconds to see that something is flashing there. Then it might take their brain one or two seconds to figure out what they need to do, right? Oh, this vehicle wants in into this lane. Maybe I should, take off my foot off the accelerator, or sometimes maybe I'll slightly press my brake to build this gap that this person wants to come in at. So it's very presumptive of this person to think that this person is just ready for this lane change to happen. And then they tuck themselves in. And so long story short, <laughs> don't be this driver, right? Your number one goal as a driver, and I keep saying this in all the videos, is to be predictable to other road users. And the fact that you pull up here and then put your signal on and just say, hey, hey, here I come. This is not a nice lane change in front of this person. I don't care where you're planning on going, right? If you've missed your turn, then so be it. You can go to the next intersection, take three right turns and come back and go to where you want, or you could, signal and let people build a bit of a safer safer cushion to let you in right so you know i this person here sure they could have left a little bit more of a following distance from me it's not the worst that i've seen but for a lot of times people think that this space cushion that someone has left from the vehicle in front of them is just for the taking and it's really frustrating when we get into the highway with a student and a vehicle approaches us from behind gets right up beside our bumper 
and then gets frustrated with the fact that we're going to speed limit, switches over to that lane. And literally the moment they're, they're past us, they pull in in front of us when they had all the space in front of them to first pass us and then do a gradual lane change over. So you have to realize what it is you're doing behind the wheel because if you don't think about it, people are not going to constantly give you feedback on your driving. And so you might keep doing things a certain way and then one day you'll do that weird maneuver and somebody else is not prepared for it and that's where a collision happens. So when we see things like this, I always ask students, I'm like, was that a good lane change? And I love it because students always give me the right answer. They're like, no, that was not a good lane change or no, they, sh they totally cut that person off or no, they shouldn't have made that turn right now. And so once you've gotten your license, your learning continues, right? So when you see people do things, look for the reason why, if it feels wrong, it probably is wrong. And then ask yourself, how would you do that thing differently? So I'll leave the video here. I hope you learned something and I'll catch you in the next one.